Well, this morning I was charging my batteries and I noticed a problem. I have, uh, of course, I have six L16 batteries and I noticed I never could get a full charge even though I went many, many hours. It did trickle down to about uh, uh, two amps on the charge controller or the smart charger, but it never would go to full. So I decided to start checking my batteries and, and I have discovered that I think I have one cell out of my one of my L16 batteries that's dead. Uh, as you can see right here, this is the battery that I think is that I know is still good. Right now it's reading 6.87 volts. If I check this one, it's reading 5.68 volts. That's not good. Now when I check the 12 volt across this string here, you will notice that it is not a bad reading. 12.56. If I come over here and check the 12 volts on this string, again it's 12.56. So don't be fooled by that. You have In this situation I have three strings all tied in parallel that the rest of the batteries is going to bring that 12 volt uh, the 12 volt average up so this is what we really have to pay attention to I have one of my six L16's that's reading 5.6 the rest are right here around 6.8 so this is how you can tell you actually have one dead cell. I'm going to take my, my um, caps off here. and As, as you'll notice, you'll see the, the uh, uh, smart charger alligator leads are hooked up now and I've got a 20 amp charge on here right now. Um, you can see that these two cells right here are bubbling as you would expect. All the other 17 cells I have throughout this bank are bubbling just like that. This cell right here appears to be dead. There's nothing going on. So I, there's no question that I have a battery cell in this L16 that is dead. So now I have taken this third string away from the battery bank so it's isolated and I'm going to take measurements now. Let's see here across the 12 volts we now have 11.24 not very good. See it doesn't have the rest of the bank to improve its averages. So we know that this string here is pulling the entire bank down. And let's check the the, vo the uh, voltage across the suspect battery and it is now reading 4.6. That is not good at all. Uh, we'll check the good battery and it is at 6.62. That's, that's not bad at all. So we know we have a problem with this battery. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a charge on just this string that's isolated with the bad battery and see if there's anything we can do uh, to try to save that battery. Okay, I've been charging this uh, this isolated string with the suspect probably bad battery now for about an hour. Okay, so let's check the measurements now. Here is the suspect battery and we are at 6.89 volts and let's check the other battery in the string, the one that we don't think has a problem. And we are at 7.5 volts, 7.53. Now, obviously, since I'm in the process of charging, you're expecting the batteries to have a higher voltage. Something that you have, whether you're charging from your solar panels or whether you're charging from a smart charger from the main. So it looks like this is not going to fix anything. It looks like we certainly still have a dead cell. As you can see, I have two cells that are bubbling and one that is not at all. Let's just go ahead and check the voltage here across the cells themselves. That's reading 1.8 on a 2 volt cell. Let's check this one. That's reading 2.3. 
and this one is reading 2.2 obviously we have a problem let's go all the way across here and that's uh, 4 volts there and if we come outside here 6.4 obviously if we did that on this other good battery we would see something very different so I have a bad battery here there's just no other way around that um, so this being a holiday weekend I'm not going to be able to buy it for a couple of days so I think I'm going to stop this now isolate this string once again hook this 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 other string over here excuse me these this pair of strings up to my um, my inverters and just go with that until I'm able to replace this battery I hate to do it but uh, I'd hate for the crap to hit the fan and me be down a whole string. For the next uh, couple of days I'm going to be a four battery bank uh, rather than rather than six just until I have time to replace that battery. Anyway that's it for now. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.